back in Oregon's gorgeous Mount Hood territory at the annual Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. With acres and acres of gorgeous tulips of all shapes and colors and sizes, wood shoe carving, tons for families, even wine tasting for adults. And as you can see, I've got some big shoes to fill. Shoe Tulip Farm is a family affair dating all the way back to 1950. Barb, back in 1950 it didn't look like this. No, back in 1950 I wasn't even here, but my parents bought the farm, they bought 225 acres, and they wanted to come out in the country and farm. I mean, they, that's where it all started. 33 years later, 20,000 people here today. That's crazy. It is crazy. And it's unbelievable. It's beautiful though. I mean, why wouldn't you want to come out in the country and wander around the tulip field? Well, I see guys walking around in wooden shoes here. Yeah. So there's a little bit of Holland that's here, not only just the tulips, but the shoes. There are. So about 20 years ago, we brought a guy in from Ontario, Canada to teach classes here. Because our name was Wooden Shoe Bulb Company at the time, we thought, well, if it's Wooden Shoe Bulb Company, we have to have somebody making wooden shoes here. To the farmers out here, if a cow steps on your foot, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I can see that being a huge advantage. So I'm hearing old school farming sounds, toots and trains, and there was a tractor that we saw earlier today. So those guys have been coming here for about 20 years now. We supply the wood, and they just come out and have fun. So one thing I love about Oregon's Mount Hood Territory is you guys all really support each other. The community, the businesses support mm -hmm. each other. I saw Jennifer here from Markham Hill Ranch with the alpacas. She's just great. You know, she's great to work with. She came out actually at 5.30 in the morning and I put her on TV. She brought her alpaca out. So great sport. We really do support each other. Keeping in the family, your nephew Brent gave us a really cool wine tour. Very unique wine tour. All right, so this is the first white wine. It's a Spanish grape called the Albarino. It's relatively new, um, but it's picking up in a lot of popularity because, as you can tell, yeah, it's just nice, smooth, and refreshing. It's an easy white drinking, like, smooth wine. So it leaves your mouth nice and refreshed, even though it hits it kind of dry. So it makes it just a nice, easy drink in wine and nice and refreshing. And the other one we have is the Tempranillo. It's got a nice, smooth start to it, but it has a really nice, sharp, peppery finish to it at the end. Um, it's a French grape. Um, and it's known for being very sensitive to the soil pH. With wine, just simply the difference in soil can really make a lot of difference in the taste and whether or not it'll grow. It's the calm before the storm. Things are about to get crazy. Time for the annual Easter egg hunt. So I noticed that everybody's pretty happy. They are. We, you know, people that come out to see flowers are happy people. You know, they want to come out and bring their families out to the country. You know, see, run around, see some mud puddles. Um, we have a lot of soft touches out here between the ducky races, the tractors, all those kinds of things. And, you know, it's about the experience they have. It's, it's memories for a lifetime that they take home with them. 